a first edition uh, of Damien Runyon's Guys and Dolls, Amanda Blakeney from Pete Harrington. In front of me is a copy of the hardback issue uh, of the first edition of Damien Runyon's fantastic first book of short stories, Guys and Dolls. Um, I, 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 the title itself, of course, lends it, itself to the musical version of this and the film version of this, Don Marlon Brando. But these short stories were originally published in a magazine. Um, this is an anthology of those stories, of the first ones, uh, and was issued in two formats. Um, this format, as you can see, uh, is a standard hardback. Let's take it off. You can see it's bound in cloth, red cloth, black lettering. Um, it was fairly cheaply produced because the market for it was, was, was thought to be um, not highbrow. Um, and they went on also to produce a version of it that was sort of halfway toward a paperback. So you get it occasionally in stiff boards using the dust jacket as the sort of pasted onto the board. So you get that version. But of course, the cloth and dust jacket is the preferred version of this book. Um, the stories have been widely heralded. It was chosen by uh, Haycraft Queen as one of the top sort of 100 books uh, of detective fiction ever written. And in itself, it, it's one of those occasions where the book itself and the stories are so absolutely perfectly matched. To buy the book, to look at the book, you know exactly what the style and manner of the stories inside are going to be. And that's not always true uh, of 20th century book production. But when it is, you end up you end up with a book looking like that. If you want any more information about detective fiction, American literature, um, some books of this sort, then please visit our website.